no one really asked for this but i wanted to do it anyways and i'm going to do it and edit and upload it so yeah in this video i'm just going to be talking about my 2023 and wrapping it up so guys i can't lie to you 2023 has been so good to me and i am just so grateful and i am just so thankful and this has been one of the best years in my life in a very very long time i entered into this year with the mindset that this is the year where i'm going to thrive i'm going to flourish and i'm going to step out in faith and matthew 5 16 was the scripture on which i based my year on and the scripture in which i always came back to regardless of what was happening and i really have to give it up to my life coach um, within her coaching and I'm going to leave all her details down below Lakeisha Anang she has been such a blessing to me and 2023 couldn't have gone the way it did if it wasn't for her impartation in my life because even collaborating with her or having her as my life coach that's a testimony in itself because the favor that came with it that was you know i thank god for that and it was such a blessing to me like i said because everything that i've been working towards everything that i've been planning and putting in the work to do for the past six years with her i was able to accomplish it in six months first of all i was able to host my first in-person event under my ministry chosen is she which went so beautifully i kept it very small and intimate because that's just how i'd wanted it for a first event and it was held on saturday the 15th of july it was amazing it was just so refreshing and also reviving and it gave me that confidence and that boost to know that i was made for this this is what i was made for and it also brought me to a place in believing and trusting in god and all the prophetic words and the prophetic dreams and everything that god has spoken of in my life and everything that's been being said to me in the past five years just in that moment just made me realize that yes manuela this is what you've been called to do. And it's about time that you believe it. It's about time that you step into it. It's about time that you believe in yourself and trust God more. And I also held two other online events. One called September Shift that I had that I that took place in September. Again, amazing, life transforming, encouraging, reviving, refreshing, inspirational. And I held my last um free event also in december called becoming her stepping into your own for 2024 again no words to describe how that was so in total that was three events that i hosted this year when tell me this this time last year that oh you'd be doing this i would just be looking at you like mm, okay whatever no me what but here i am and I did it and it's just given me such a confidence boost it's really encouraged me and I almost want to say that nobody can tell me nothing because I now believe in myself but I now believe in everything and trust everything that God has been saying and God has been showing me all this time and I learned so much I learned the importance of stepping out in faith I learned the importance of showing grace and showing grace to myself and to others as well and this might sound a bit like okay well you said this last year because in my video that i did last year wrapping up 2022 i said how that i was learning to show more grace to people and i did show more grace to people and just to give like a context basically everything was going well and good and in the middle of the year i went through a situation which really took me off guard and i was just like wait what what's going on here this was not part of the plan this was not part of the script and basically some people treated me unjustly yeah let's just keep it as that when i came out of that i 
really really cried i really really cried i really was upset on on the day that it happened i just heard the holy spirit say to me and remind me the scripture that what the enemy is meaning for evil i will turn around for good in the moment i didn't understand that but when i was being all hysterical just hearing that it calms me down a little bit but i really let my feelings be known and i entered into a time where i was praying some harsh prayers to the point where my prayers even had effect and i was just like right okay i almost killed this woman with my prayers but next time just show more grace and just really tune into what god is saying and just know that you will be all right looking back now in hindsight that is what i'm telling myself i wasn't feeling or thinking it in the moment but now looking back i'm just like okay man you're like okay but i've learned my lesson and this um i'm not going to lie this year had its highs and it low in its lows but the highs outweigh the lows by far this year was the year where i did things that i'd never done before some some of you may know i did a three-day esther fast and shared that here on my channel and that video just went viral and amassed most of the subscribers that i have today i did a 16 day um ig live where i was praying and reading through the book of mark and out of those 16 days i'm somebody i this has been my fault in the past but i'll start something and never really finish or i'll pause and then go back and start stop start stop but with these 16 days i did it in march from 1st of march to 16th of march and not one day did i miss and that's by the grace of god and that's also by me finding the confidence and the belief in myself because i realized i really struggled in believing in myself and that was one of the things that were greatly highlighted during my coaching sessions with my coach and so i just really had to learn that you know i have a voice i have a story and i have things to say and what i say will encourage people will inspire people will help people to be built up and i know for a fact that i'm a born encourager and i just i just admitted to myself that yes this is what i've been called to do this is what i've been born to to be and i'm just going to allow and give myself permission to and in a nutshell that's my 2023 a year where i stepped out in faith did things outside of my comfort zone and just trusted god believed in myself and just went for it another thing that i that's really been a highlight to me is the fact that god has honored me every prayer that i prayed i know that god answered even the harsh prayers that i was praying god answered them to the point where i had to sit back down and look and say like oh wow god like you actually answered that and some people almost got harmed with these harsh prayers that i'm praying and it just really convicted my heart and i had to go back to god and you know ask for forgiveness and actually start praying asking god to heal these people bless these people make them to prosper and everything and i just thought like and I just realized that, oh God, you really, really do listen to me. You really, really, really do care about me. Like, you know, Psalm 116 verse 2, because you bend down to listen, I will praise you for as long as I live. God, whenever I pray, you don't just sit on your throne and rock back and forth, but you actually bend down to listen to me because you care and you answer my prayers. And I'm just so grateful to know that not only have I, do I have the privilege to know God, but I also have the grace and the privilege and the blessing to be known by God. And that can be you too. My 2023 has been a total blessing and I'm excited for 2024. I'm hopeful for 2024. All the lessons that I've learned you know wisdom will say learn the lessons so then next time you'll know what to do i'm carrying that through but i'm ready to close the door on this chapter 2023 leave what it is i need to leave behind take with me what i need to take with me but also make room and space for 2024 because it's a brand new year you know and god is the 
is the God of newness. And I also wrote a 10 days devotional, which I'm going to link down below. Get yours, get your copy. I know and believe that it will bless you. I want to leave it on this as well. I remember, and it's only now that I remembered, oh gosh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Last, well, the beginning of this year, 2023, I was at church and it was just after our church service on Sunday, you know, the service had just ended. And I remember my, the, my pastor's wife came to me and she said to me that she'd been praying for me. And I know that they pray for us. Like I know that her and her husband really pray for my husband and I, for that I know. And she said to me that she'd been praying for me. And the Lord said to her regarding me that when we say new year, the word new is what God is going to fulfill in my life in this year. That 2023 is going to be the year of the new. And boy, oh boy, was it so. And I'm just so grateful and I just wanted to share that. And I'm, you know, wishing you a very happy new year. And I shall be praying for you all. I am so grateful for you all who have been part of my journey. It's been three years now, that three and a half years now that I've had this channel open and just seeing the growth and even people messaging me, reaching out to me. I really appreciate you all and I really, really, really do mean that. And yeah, on to the next leveling up and just trusting in God for the more and stepping out in faith and just believing in ourselves being confident in god who is the one who is leading and guiding us and i hope that this video has blessed you in some way or encouraged you in some way and yeah i'm going to leave it here wishing you a wonderful day night evening dawn wherever you are in the world and i'll catch you in my next video and happy new year